Hey everybody, Will Bailey and Chaska here, and I'm gonna try and keep this a short video. I know it's been 50, like 50 days since I last posted, so I'm sorry about that. Buddy, you're in the way. Anyways, Chaska the other night uh, decided to get into the trash, eat a corn cob, and try and cause an intestinal blockage. But we stopped that, see, look at that. That's gross stuff right there. That was in his stomach. Uh, anyways, we had to induce vomiting. So if you're looking at this video because your dog has done something, he probably shouldn't. Here's what you need to know. First off, make sure you have brand new hydrogen peroxide. If you don't uh, and you give them expired hydrogen peroxide, this isn't going to work. So go take the time. Yes, you have time. Uh, and I'll explain after what I'm about to say, like how much time you actually get. So give them it, Chaska's weight. Look at that dog right there. He's about 45, 50 pounds, right? It varies because, you know, he's a husky. And um, two tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide, give it to him. And then some vets say walk, some don't, whatever you read, whatever. Uh, you can take him for a little walk. Um, I actually took him for a little walk just to get it moving in his belly and then brought him back inside and kept him on this linoleum floor here because it's gross already. And uh, he vomited. But it took him about five, no, eight minutes to vomit. And it's important to note, right? So you give him the hydrogen peroxide, you're not going to see the immediate result, but monitor them completely. So two tablespoons hydrogen peroxide, 40 to 50 pound dog. Uh, consult a vet before you do that because it is dangerous. You can poison your dog. And you can do that up to two times. After the second time and nothing happens, then you have to go to the vet and it's going to be a lot more expensive. Okay, now that we have that out of the way in the first two minutes, let's talk about what actually happened. Chaska got into the uh, trash, decided to eat the corn cob pieces. Corn cob pieces, they expand in a dog's stomach. They actually can be intestinal blockage. And apparently Chaska just really missed being in surgery, so he wanted to go again. Uh, what we did was we consulted the vet, called the after hours emergency vet because it was actually 11 o'clock at night. I had to run to a 24 hour Walgreens. Once we did that, then we were actually able to give them the right uh, hydrogen peroxide. Now here's the important thing. If you give them expired hydrogen peroxide because I thought what we had was good, turns out it wasn't, it was expired. You're not going to get anything, no vomiting, but you can still create a toxicity in the blood. So I had to drive out um, and it actually took me, so from the first initial dose, driving out, getting the new stuff, giving it to him, and then having him vomit, um, took maybe an entire 90 minutes. So you do, you do have a little time. If you don't have hydrogen peroxide, put your dog in their crate, go to the store, get some new stuff. If you have expired stuff, put your dog in the crate, go get some new stuff. Maybe ask a neighbor uh, if you're really that worried, but yeah. Give it to them and then like eight minutes later they'll vomit now this is really pointy too so i don't know what was going on with it but apparently it was a tasty treat finally if you've made it this far that probably means that you've been watching this channel i don't know um or you're really interested into it um if you're new to the channel please subscribe it's been 50 days since i posted a video a lot of big stuff changing i actually have reasons for that and it's going to be some fantastic reasons that I hope you guys are going to enjoy here in the near future. Also, if you see the weird like streams of light like that, that's because I dropped my phone like an idiot and now the screen is cracked. All right, anyways, there's Bailey. He's gonna sign us out. Bailey, you wanna say bye? You wanna say bye, buddy? No, nope. now you're just licking me. All right, hey everybody, have a fantastic day, night, whenever you're watching this. I hope it helped, um, yeah. Make your dogs vomit if they eat stuff they shouldn't, but consult a vet first. Thanks for watching.